Hello, welcome to Math Talk. My name is Brian Heisler. Today I'm going to show you how you can find the slope between two points. I'm going to show you two different ways. So let's get started. Before I show you some examples, I want to show you about the different types of slopes there are. There's a positive slope, which goes up to the right. There's a negative slope, which goes down to the right. There's a slope that equals zero, which is a horizontal line. And there's a slope that's undefined. It's a vertical line. So let me show you some examples and some information about the two ways you can find slope. One of the ways is called rise over run. Slope always equals rise over run. When you find that, you figure out how far you go up or down and how far you go left or right. If you go up, you have a positive number. If you go down, you have a negative number. If you go to the right, you have a positive number. If you go to the left, you have a negative number. The other way you can find slope is using the slope formula. That's where you're given two different points, and you basically take the x and y values of those points and plug them in. I'm going to show you an example of that later on in the video. So let's take a look at how you can apply rise over run to an example like this. What you do is you start at any one of your points, let's say this one, and you figure out how far up or down do you go, how far left or right do you go. So I can start here and go up one, two, and then I have to go to the right, one, two, three, four, five. So the run, and there's your slope, two over five. Let's look at another example. This time we have a negative slope because it goes down to the right. Start at any one of your two points, let's say this one, how far do you go up or down? One, two, three down, which is negative. And then to the right, one, two, three, four. So the slope of this line is negative three over four. Now on this graph, I have both a horizontal line and a vertical line. So let's take a look at each one at a time. With my horizontal line, I'm gonna change colors. I start at any one of the points, I figure out how far to go up or down. Obviously you can tell I'm not going up or down at all, so the rise is zero. The run is to the right, one, two, three, four. Now earlier I said the slope of a horizontal line is zero. That's because zero divided by any number is always zero. So let's take a look at the vertical line now. Start at any one of your two points, let's start here, Figure out what the rise is. One, two, three, four. And if you figure out, figure out the run, you're not going left or right at all, so it's zero. That's why I said that the slope of a vertical line is undefined, because anytime you divide a number by zero, you get an error. In this case, it's undefined. So let's take a look at an example of how you can find the slope that you're given two points of. You'll see a problem that says calculate the slope between these two points, 4, 2, and 6, 5. So what we want to do is we want to plug in these numbers to this formula. So y2 and y1 are just the second and first y values. So you have y2 is 5 and y1 is 2. X2 and X1 are just the second and first X values. So X2 is 6, X1 is 4. Then you just have to simplify. 5 minus 2 is 3, 6 minus 4 is 2. And there's the slope between these two points. So I hope that helps when you're going and trying to figure out the slope of two points, whether you're given a graph, which I would recommend using rise over run, or if you're given two points like this, which I would recommend, recommend using the slope formula. Your education will add up when you visit us at GEDS.com. For future tips and videos, be sure to subscribe and follow. 